Hi guys, um, it's Mignon and today we are going to add yet another question type to our list of questions in Moodle. So I've already logged in and I went to my question bank and today I want to create a new question and it is called a random short answer matching question. To be able to use this question type you need to have a question category where you have many short answer questions because now you are going to select a random short answer matching question. So what's going to happen is from the selection of questions you have here it's going to create random short answer questions with matching options. So let's see what happens. Okay so I'm going to select that. I already have a category <coughs> and the category that I want to use okay there's my question name and the ID let's see what I can put in here um, from this category here these are my short answer questions correct okay say matching answer okay the default mark will be one and number of questions to select say four and we're not including <coughs> sorry subcategories save changes and continue editing let's do a preview so there you go from that question bank that I've selected, these are Afrikaans questions. So it is the um, opposite. It's opposites on um, bride and groom. So from here, they're going to have to select from the options there, which one is the right one. Okay, so that's how it's going to work. If you selected a, th a four or a five, there it's going to give the kids five options to select from. Or is it into, uh, let me just count, one, two, three, four. No, it's creating four questions. So let's go back and let's do another one. Close preview. We selected number of questions to select four. If I look at my category, I have 15 questions there. So let's make this 15. I can only go to a maximum of 10. Um, let's save the changes. It gives you a random question there. And let's preview it. Now we should have 15 questions there, if I'm right. So it's going to give you a lot of options because you've got 15 questions. It's going to give you a lot of options here. Okay, so you've got 10 questions because we can select a maximum of 10. You've got a lot of options to select from and this will be the feedback but this is just the coding. You don't need to worry about that. So that is how you're going to set up those questions. Sometimes we find that it's very boring if we do these um, these questions. The, the Let me just show you to you these short answer questions because it's just either wrong or right. So if you make a whole directory of those or a whole category of those, you can now very smart and easily just let the system create some drop down matching questions for you. So that is how you use the random short answer matching question. I usually use these in languages. Um, on my categories, I will have um, animal sounds and their babies, what they are called. Maybe a cat is the baby's a kitten. I will have the, I've got idioms here, but mostly for these lists of things that kids should use, uh, male and female, I add all of them and then I just create questions from there. I hope it helps you. Thank you.